Hi everyone, Matt Stewart here with Cole Banker, Ronan Realty, here to go over the market stats for November of 2022. As you can see, we're nearing Christmas, we're nearing the end of the year, and what a year it's been, honestly. Some ups and downs, some goods and bads, obviously sellers were winning at the start of the year, buyers are winning at the end. But we're going to dive into the numbers, take a look at everything, see what each market's doing individually on a month over month basis. I'm going to be releasing another video in the next coming weeks here showing you the year over year comparison just so you can get a recap and see what the years have done. So, and at the very end, I'm gonna do my takeaway and then what my predictions are, I think for the next probably like 60 to 90 days, just so you can kind of get a gauge on what I think the market's gonna be. Again, don't have a crystal ball, but I'll give you my educated opinion based on all the statistics. So let's dive into the numbers. As we check out the tiny area, we saw the average price in October sit around 954,000. We saw that number jump up by a slight margin to a million ninety-two. Again, there's waterfront properties, there are some rural ones, so when those sell, they have a bigger influx on the price on a month over month basis. But again, good sign for sellers in that area, sitting at a million ninety-two. We had 45 new listings in October, only 44 in November, staying relatively the same. And then we had 12 sales and seven in November. The number shows a 41% change, but again, it's 12 sales to seven, so it's staying relatively balanced but it's a good sign seeing the bump back in pricing from going from 954,000 to a million 92. All right, guys, that's the market stats for November of 2022. Thank you for tuning in. I'm gonna do my takeaway now, what I think probably over the next 30 to, 30 to 90 days is what's gonna happen. So in January, we do have another rate increase. So save the date, just like we've done the rest of the year. I'll be doing a video for that, announcing what kind of happens and how it's going to affect you. But I think with that rate increase, we're gonna see prices still dip a little bit more on a month over month basis but I think we're getting near to the bottom there. So if you're a buyer in this market, I think in the next probably 90 days is gonna be your window to lock in, find a property, purchase at a great price, because we are gonna see some pent up demand that's gonna come through probably in 2024. Again, no crystal ball here, but I think that's what's gonna happen because we're still in a housing shortage and we have more inventory, but we still don't have enough inventory. So keep those things in mind. Next 90 days, we're gonna see prices dip a little bit. Great opportunity for buyers. Sellers, if you're looking at upgrading, it's also gonna be your time to sell. There's gonna be buyers out there looking for deals and that, but there's also gonna be deals available to you as we see interest rates jump up and they are gonna affect people. So buyers and sellers, there's gonna be windows opportunity for both of you. So that's my takeaway. That's what I think the next kind of 60 to 90 days is gonna bring for buyers and sellers. So if you have any questions, all my details are below. If you wanna book a chat with me, there's a link below for that. Take care guys, have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.